Considering the first concept of a lever action rifle started in 1848, the lever action rifle is a certified icon. However, let me tell it, lever actions are like sports cars with manual transmissions. Sure, their analog nature makes them debatably outdated, but it's the laborious analog action of racking the lever before each shot or shifting each gear yourself through the dexterous art form of clutch in, shift, and then gas that makes them extremely engaging to shoot and drive. I've always had this respect for lever actions, but I didn't drool over them. That is until I started seeing them all tacked out on my social media feeds every other day. That, that's when I started drooling. 10 months ago, I did a video on the Midwest Industries Alpha series of parts designed to modernize the AK platform. I walked away really impressed. So when Midwest Industries reached out and said they wanted to send me a lever action rifle that was fitted with parts from their lever action series of parts designed to modernize the lever action and see what I thought of them, I started drooling again. This is what a typical lever action rifle looks like. But this is what the lever action rifle sent by Midwest Industries looks like. Before this video goes on any further, can we just take a second to just look at how sexy this thing is, especially with this camo Cerakote job. And after you've done that, I wanna take another second to ask why you haven't clicked the link in the description section to order a pair of my favorite in-ear wireless Bluetooth hearing protection that lets you listen to your music or take a phone call all while protecting your hearing with a certified NR rating of 25 dB. Yeah, you might wanna go ahead and check out the AKT1 blackouts. So click the link in the description section and then come back and finish this video. Yeah, the link's in the description section, go. This beautiful Henry Big Boy X 357 Mag Lever Action Rifle is fitted with parts from Midwest Industries Lever Action Series, which are designed to modernize or tacked out pretty much any lever action rifle, whether it's a Marlin, Rossi, Winchester, or Henry. In this case, mine is the Henry Big Boy X Model 357 Mag. The crown jewel part from the Midwest Industries Lever Action Series is gonna be the stock. There are three variations of the stock. They have the Homesteader, the Longer Ranger, the Straight, and the one that I have here, which is the Pistol Grip. Which, if I spec this gun myself, I definitely would have gone with the Pistol Grip version. Other than the angle of the grip, all of the stocks have this extremely skeletonized look with interchangeable G10 grips, as you can see right here, and adjustable polymer cheek well that, quite frankly, you don't realize how much you need it and want it until you start running it on just a standard basic lever action rifle. So this is probably, from an ergonomic standpoint, one of my favorite features. You can also outfit the stock with their shell holders, which I have to say, when you have all of your rounds in the shell holder and then you take a look at it, it just takes the coolness of this gun and just sends it to another level. Now, I'm no expert at reloading from a shell holder, but I can say the rounds while in the shell holder are really smooth while also keeping them secure while in the shell holder. Now, we all know how much I love hanging stuff off of my rifles. So my favorite part from this series is easily the handguard sight system. To me, it's the one part that has the biggest functional and visual impact at modernizing the lever action rifle. Of course, it's an M-Lock rail system, which I like the way it looks, but I don't genuinely like using M-Lock rails. I mean, like actually putting stuff on them or trying to take them off. I, I just don't think they're as easy to use as people make them out to be, but I have to admit they are better than the alternatives. So I just deal with it. You see, the rail though is really sleek and it has a good feel to it. And I love the fact that the top rail damn near runs the entire length of the rifle. So I can attach all of the Sugar Daddy Noir lights and lasers and other unnecessary, but very necessary tactical accoutrement that my heart desires. And I was running a little pulled LCO red dot, but I have to say the heavy duty ghost ring rear sight and the screw in front sight are really, really, really good. And the fact that you can still use them when you're running suppressor makes them even better. I just didn't use them though because that top rail was just screaming for an optic and I couldn't help myself. This lever action is chambered in 357 mag, which in a handgun 
would be a lot to handle. However, in a standard lever action rifle, it handles it just fine. So now imagine how much sweeter this thing shoots with this Midwest Industries two chamber muzzle brake. Long story short, the gun doesn't recoil like at all. It, it's kind of trippy actually. You see the 357 mag bullets just sitting in the stock and then the super tacked out lever action gun. And then when you pull the trigger, it feels like you're shooting really loud smoke. It throws you off a bit, but it is immensely enjoyable. That said, these features do add a little weight to the rifle. When you have a five foot long rail system, it's just physics at that point. However, it's not the kind of weight that makes shooting the gun a chore. Now, if the goal of Midwest Industries lever action series of parts was to modernize the lever action gun, well, these parts in a whole or in part does exactly that. For someone like me who appreciates lever actions but has a modern eye for firearms, this to me takes the lever action out of aging but still useful, if you really want a lever action, to every gun guy or gun girl who considers themselves a gun guy or gun girl should have at least two lever actions. One bare bone stock lever action and one tacked out one like this using the parts from the Midwest Industries lever action series. That said, I have this Marlin Dark Series lever action rifle that I've had for a while now and I was gonna leave it stock, just clean and bare bones as you can see. But now I keep wondering how badass I can make this thing look using these parts from the Midwest Industry Series. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.